A 2.5 kilogram box slides from rest 0.85 meters down at 30 degree incline. Incline. If the force of the friction acting on the incline is 3.2 newtons, what is the speed of the box when it reaches the bottom of the incline? Um, for this one, I drew the diagram and let me just change the color of my pen. Um, so the first step is we want to determine this using energy formulas, not kinematics. So what we're going to do is we're going to determine first um, the energy, um, of the, I mean energy, the total energy done by the force of friction. So we know that work is equal to force, the force of friction times distance. So that's going to be force of friction was 3.2 newtons multiplied the distance, which is 0 0.85, whoops, 50 meters which gives us a value of 2.72 joules of work done due to friction. And next step is um, we need to determine this vertical distance. So I'm going to draw another triangle. Jeez, I'm running out of tablet room. Um, that's 30 degrees. We know that this distance on the incline is equal to 0.85 Therefore, using trig function, we're going to find the value of y. So sine of 30 degrees is going to be equal to y over the hypotenuse, which is 0 0.850. So y will be equal to, I should write this a bit larger all the time, 0 0.850 sine of 30 degrees. So the vertical distance will be equal to um, 0 0.425. Or two, five. So in order to determine um, the energy from the top of the incline to the bottom, EP, tension energy, will be equal to the mass of this object, which is 2.5 kilograms, 2.5 kilograms, multiplied by 9.81 meter per second squared, multiplied by the vertical distance of 0. 4 to 5 meters and that gives us a value of 10.4 joules so f net or we'll say the f the net of the work done on this object is equal to the work done due to gravity minus the work done by friction so it's going to be 10.4 joules minus 2.72 joules, which gives us a value of um, 7.68 joules. However, this question asks us to determine the velocity as it reaches the bottom. So as the potential energy is decreased, the kinetic energy is going to increase. So what we do is we let EK equal to 7.68 joules. And we'll scroll down here to have a little more room. And we know that the kinetic energy, which is six, sorry, sorry, 7.68 joules, is equal to mv squared over 2. So now we're going to solve for v. So multiply both sides by 2 to cancel out the 2. Divide both sides by mass to cancel out the mass. And square root both sides to solve for v to get rid of that squared value. So velocity will be equal to the square root of 2 times whoops, 7.68 joules divided by the mass of 2.5. So the velocity will be equal to 2.48 meters per second down the end. So as the potential energy of the object from the top um, decreases, kinetic energy will increase to give us a final velocity of 2.48 meter per second.